July the 10th, 1993. The sun is beaming through the windshield as it rises over the Ohio River. I could barely sleep last night. The thought of waking up and being surrounded by a horde of decomposing cannibals was driving me crazy. And when I do sleep, I can hear the screams of the man that was torn to ribbons. It's quiet outside. A peaceful serenity of birds chirping in the trees. And then am I at once struck by the hard truth of present circumstances. I dread the coming day. I checked for a map of the area from the car I had looted earlier, but there was none. I'll be venturing into the uncharted grounds, and my life is in the hands of fate. If I don't make it from here, and you find me among the undead, please, give me the dignity of death. I made it. It seems the groups are smaller the further into the country you go. I think I'll stay here a while. The first thing I'm going to do is turn that radio on. It looks like this house wasn't abandoned during the evacuation. The power is on, and the zombie I just killed looks like the owner. I'll make him a proper burial if I had a shovel. But before anything, I need to know if there's anyone out there. Jackie J here today with Professor John Ramirez, a military scientist. Professor Ramirez, we've been told that you can provide some answers. How are they doing in there? 
Not good, Jackie. They're all on two feet, but they're in a bad way. What are the symptoms? Is this life-threatening? We've taken samples. There's a team looking into that right now. There's no reason to spread fear or alarm. We have top men looking into what this is and just where it came from. And the symptoms? Like we said, flu-like at first, then panic and confusion. We think the spread has slowed now, but we don't deal in absolutes. This remains a volatile situation with a contagious illness at its heart. The lockdown is required by international law and common sense until we know for sure we are safe. I'm sure y'all can understand why. And the reports of violence? At this point in time, we have no reason to believe folks won't recover. Thank you for your time. I'm Jackie J. Keep safe, Kentucky. I am so relieved that this hasn't spread across the whole of the United States. There's still hope. I could jump for joy, but I don't want to attract any more of those things. While I wrote the above, I realized what the scientists said. What if they come back? What if I actually killed all those people? I had to. Otherwise, they would have killed me. Their families must be missing them. But I've been abandoned here. If the military hadn't abandoned me in this hellhole, I wouldn't have had to fight for my life for the past two days. I feel queasy. I don't know if it's from the river water that I drank, or the thought that I just killed someone. I need to distract my thoughts. Speculation seems to surround the origin of this phenomenon. And theories include an airborne plague, a toxic chemical spill, bioterrorism, and even a space-borne virus. And viewers should be advised that there is no official explanation as of yet. The president wants to make it perfectly clear that this is not a case of bioterrorism. No such agents exist in the arsenal of any nation or known terrorist group. He also wants to stress the need for calm and respect for law and order. The quicker people can get off the streets and into their homes, the quicker the appropriate federal and state agencies can reach these troubled areas. Although a further call-up of reservists is on the table, our current overseas military assets will remain in place to reassure our allies that this is a minor, containable situation that we expect to see fully resolved in 24 hours or less. The human mouth is full of millions, millions of germs, and most people don't practice good dental hygiene. So naturally, any bite is gonna become infected, no matter from whom. These people don't have some sort of uh, voodoo, hoodoo disease. Yes, but Dr. Collar, how do Look, David, what you fail to realize is that most of these so-called experts are looking in the wrong direction. The problem is not chemical or biological, it's psychological. What we're witnessing here is the spontaneous combustion of a pent-up rage uh, fueled by frustration over um, a pressurized society. It's the snapped postal worker on a national level. Well, how can you explain that the... Look, in my new book, USA Bomb... Look, I'm sorry, we have to summer, cut away right now. I'm I just being... Like most stations, we're experiencing technical problems with our satellite connection, but we'll try and follow this situation and bring you up-to-date information from the other side of the globe as it comes.